Fitness is about health and staying healthy is about good body maintenance. Some are born with an inbuilt knowledge of what one's body needs. Others are easily misguided and led by fashion, popularity, and peer pressure into things that should be avoided. There is also the body's willingness or otherwise to partake of harmful substances. In my case my body could not tolerate chemicals or anything that affected the brain. This was guided by my keen desire for knowledge and making my intelligence number one. The lessons learned are that what we do when we are young has an impact on aging and on what diseases and handicaps we will face as the years pile up. Good body maintenance is about avoiding anything toxic and that includes even dangerous rides at carnivals. The latest fad is to take rides on vehicles that cause a drop and sudden stop, as in some crazy fairground roller coaster adventures. Watching one of these recently it was hard for me to believe that people not only put their own bodies at risk but that of their children in the name of having fun. The human brain is soft and very easily damaged. The body warns of impending danger through the adrenaline glands and the sensation that many find addictive. As adrenaline flows it increases the heart rate and provides us with a flight or fight experience. In other words, it prepares for recovery from harm. As the body jerks into a sudden stop the cranium and brain collide. This causes a degree of bruising and can even result in death or paralysis. But that doesn't have to happen immediately as delayed response may see the effects of concussion several hours or even a day after the event. Headaches, nausea, dizziness, memory problems, irritability, as well as balance and sleeping difficulties may follow. Look at these symptoms and compare them to those of Alzheimer's or dementia patients. With the latter there are huge changes in brain functions that include memory loss, while there is no proven correlation to support the linking of the two it doesn't mean it is not correct. Drugs also affect the brain and taking pills on a regular basis may also be leading to the onset of Alzheimer's or dementia. While there are no studies to prove this is the case it's still a matter of common sense. If one is looking for a fitness regime then start with the brain and all other things will surely follow. It has the ability to tell us when we are going wrong. Drugs, on the other hand, interfere with that side of nature. We educate the brain by what we do to our bodies. If we stuff ourselves with things like sweets and alcohol, and tell it that the odd adrenaline rush is okay, then changes in that vital organ will impel us to take more of it. Norma Holt has knowledge that enables her to understand many issues. Politics, health, social and behavioral problems are usually on her list for discussion as well as anything to do with the spirit of the universe and reincarnation, which she experienced. She is happy to hear from any of her readers.